Hi there, this is Anthony from Double A Jazz and welcome to my new series on learning jazz standards. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about chords. This is gonna be focusing on chords and a lot of what I'm gonna say is guitar centric, but it doesn't have to be guitar centric. Other musicians can obviously get a, a lot of value out of what I'm gonna be talking about. In the introductory, I talked about one, two, three, four. Everything is broken down into one, two, three, or four somethings, right? Number one, we're working on one song at a time, and our song today is Fly Me to the Moon, written in 1959 by Bart Howard. The number four is going to come into play today because we are working on four bars at a time. So I'm going to talk about the first four bars of the song. First four bars of the song have A minor 7, D minor 7, G7, and C major 7. So the first way we're going to play them is using these big band bar chords. Now if you're not familiar with these sort of chords, please send me an email, anthony at double or type something in the comments and I can help you. There's tons of resources out there books and uh, internet and all sorts of things and, and, and the shapes of these chords but I'm, I'm gonna assume for now that you are familiar with some basic uh, jazz guitar forms all right so a minor 7 D minor 7 G7 C major 7 and I'm playing these sort of big band chords which start on the sixth string and they go down to about the third or second string and watch the way I'm going to play. I'm going to play what's called four to the floor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you play these big band chords, you often pl will play them that way. Let's take a look at the opposite end of the guitar, the top end of the guitar. And again, we're going to play those first four chords. There's that number four again. And we're going to focus on the top four strings. Now this is the opposite end of the guitar, right? Sonically, it's the opposite end. So we're not going to play that four to the floor style we're gonna play something that's a lot more light. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go, there's a second way to play. There's that, there's those numbers again. Now we're gonna talk about the third way of playing it. And that's gonna be using the inside strings. To me, inside strings means between the fifth string and the second string. It's usually just three at a time, but here's my A minor seven. Again, we're focusing on the inside strings and that's probably somewhere in between that four to the floor kind of chunky guitar playing and the really light it's somewhere in between etc all right I like to use some sort of backing track. I sometimes I use a looper. For today, I'm going to be using my iReal Pro app um, on my iPad, which I can highlight those first four bars, which is what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to just have those four bars repeat over and over and over again and play along with it. I've set this up already so that all you're going to hear out of the app is the drums and the bass and then my guitar will be playing the chords. Here we go. One, two, here we go. All right, 
right, now if we wanted to play those uh, other end, watch how that's going to sound. One, two, here we go. Now let's focus on the middle of the guitar. you got a couple of different ways of playing. Now let's see how that is going to manifest itself when you actually go to play the song. You are going to probably want to do something that goes like this. Next time around, We've already come up with three different ways of playing the first four bars of the song. And I hope, uh, I hope that helps. If there is absolutely any questions that you have uh, in regards to this or anything else, don't hesitate to send me an email, anthony at doublejazz.com. You can also type something into the comments down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. Look forward to hearing from you and please let me know how you enjoy these videos. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you learn jazz standards. My goal is to get you to the point where you can jam along with some local musicians or that you can put together your own little trio and play some of these great songs. Hope to see you soon.